Hi Lahiru, I hope you are able to hear me. Yes, I can hear you. Awesome. So hi everyone. Today I have got an another MVP, a friend of mine, Lahiru, with me. And today we are going to discuss something different, which is not already covered on this channel, right? So first of all, Lahiru, can we have a quick introduction about yourself? Of course. Um, so as you know, I'm Lahiru, and I'm based in Sri Lanka. So I work for Boundaryless as a RPA lead. And I'm mostly into document understanding and AI related things. So, Lahiru, I recently heard of a term which is called intelligent document processing. And since you are the, I would say, very much experienced in the document understanding, I want to know some things from you in terms of what exactly is this term which is called intelligent document processing. As an RPA developer, I understand that, yes, there is something which is called document processing, where we have a set of documents, we use robot to process and extract the data, right? What is this IDP? Okay, so when it comes to IDP, it's a different uh, technology, which you focus for on, on document processing, this is mainly. So uh, before IDP, we talked about document processing and that included various ways of processing documents uh, through computer system. But what happened was uh, when it comes to document processing, you have so many different variations, right? You, you can talk about structured documents, you can talk about semi-structured documents or even unstructured now. And uh, the information we need to extract from these documents can be anywhere. It may be some simple fields like an invoice number, or it could be a very complicated thing as a paragraph of text. Okay. Um, so what happens with IDP is, uh, it uses different technologies to understand these documents and extract the information that we need. And also, as a part of that, it is also capable of identifying what kind of a document we are processing. So. First, identifying the document and then extracting the information we need using the technology like OCR, ICR. ICR is intelligent character recognition. And then comes the AI. So all these combined together gives you intelligent document processing. Interesting. So till as I can see that you have explored it uh, more about that IDP and all, right? So. What do you think? What are some of the use cases which as a RPA developer or as a business person, I can relate any one use case which comes to your mind where you can see that IDP is uh, being used or can be used? Okay. Um, so if you think about the finance domain, uh, this is uh, area that we most of us are familiar with. Yeah. Uh, so when it comes to invoices, we all come across invoices like almost every day in yeah. different ways, right? Uh, even receipts. So processing this information in an organization, it's a, it's a very common use case. Whatever the organization we think about, we do all these things every day. So if you talk about invoice processing, I'll tell you a real example. Um, so there was a, let's take an organization. I, I will just say ABC company. Yeah. Um, so they have like uh, invoices that come in from various vendors. And uh, these vendors will be located in different countries. And the uh, invoices you get will be of different languages and also different layouts. Each vendor will have their own way of presenting the data, right? Um, so from your point of view, let's say you are the guy from the ABC company and you need to process all these invoices and do the payments and stuff. Yeah. So what happens is, um, there will be people along with you uh, sitting and processing these invoices. You extract the information, let's say you get the information through email. So once you receive it, you need to read the document, extract the key information, cross check that with your internal systems to see whether the information is correct or wrong or whether you need any validations. And then then you need to do the next step, like posting it into a ERP system or anything that happens after that. And this may also go through several uh, validation stages, right? And uh, so doing this every day is very, um, 
you have a lot of invoices to process and it's not an easy thing to do that like every day you as a person right correct so these are some real use cases where idp can actually help there is just one but yeah. uh, there are so many use cases that we can talk about different uh, verticals different industries yeah. different uh, i would say automation piece would have new requirements right yeah. okay so since you have explored this can you tell me any one challenge which you see with the document processing or the idp right any one challenge which is the most common whenever if somebody is trying to do that right what is the most common challenge which you see with these things okay um so i already told one during yeah. the example yeah. like having different languages yes so when you have different languages you if you are processing it manually you need to understand that language a little bit hmm. uh, but if you are talking about automated document processing through idp or any other tool um we need to make sure that these tools that we are using whether it's the ocr or the extraction methods that you are using the machine learning maybe those things should support this language and hmm. more more languages you have higher the complexity it is Understood. and even for you to train these models you need hmm. to have a, uh, you need to have language or oh, sorry you need to have ocr engines and a hmm. machine learning model uh, that supports this kind of language understood so that means you have seen a lot of these challenges and i'm pretty sure that you have found solution to most of them i guess yes yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay so now as an rpa developer i am an experienced rpa developer i know a little bit about document processing and i am interested to know more about this intelligent document process where can i get started and what can i do right i want to know more so um with IDP. So we were always talking about IDP so far, but yeah. this is the latest trend that we see is when it comes to RPA, we all all talk about the usual automation stuff, right? Yeah. The UI automation, API automation, and all these. But what's next is using RPA along with AI, and that's when uh, document processing also comes in. So it's a very interesting area to explore. Yeah. Um. So. how you can learn about it i can give you one uh, resource for that so okay. i recently okay. for a book on intelligent document processing okay this is a guide for building our pay solution so it's basically combining both together um mm. so through this book you can talk about or you can learn about different rpa technologies we have like um, idp technologies we have when it comes to ocr machine learning Hmm. and then you can also explore how we can optimize your idp solutions so let's say you already have a document understanding uh, workflows or processes built through ui part let's say hmm. um so if you are looking for ways to enhance the efficiency and accuracy of these things you can look into this content and see how about other approaches that you can uh, follow So Same is your going through. Yeah. So is this book available with you? You have to send it to me, or it's available for everyone now? It is here. Ah, it's I can see it in the background, right? Okay. So now, if I want to see what exactly is the content, right? Is it possible for you to quickly share me the screen and guide me a what a little bit just about the content, right? You can just show me what is covered in the book, and then you have to also tell me that where can I buy this book. Okay, so this uh, you can see my screen, right? Yeah, I can see your screen. Yes. Okay. So this is the new book uh, on intelligent document processing. I will just quickly show you what it looks like. Okay. So in this, we have like multiple chapters. The first chapter will focus about introducing intelligent document processing, different vendors we have. For IDP, you have a detailed comparison of all these vendors and the different technologies mm -hmm. for OCR, machine learning, and intelligent document processing phases. Then comes the, how you can improve the productivity uh, of your IDP solutions and also of your process using these kind of uh, solutions. So this covers a lot of things along with some use cases. yeah i can and see the challenges about, also which i was asking about 
chapter three. Yeah, that's chapter three. And here you can see a whole bunch of challenges that yeah, yeah. we can work out through document processing in general. Yeah. And it is followed by every section is followed by a use case hmm. on how um, these challenges were present in those use cases and what are the ways to overcome those challenges and how it was implemented in real life. Interesting. So one question, Lairu, before you uh, go ahead, right? So if I talk about this use cases, right, I believe that these are all the use cases which all of us can relate, right? This was not be people or understood by the people who are experienced, right? I think people who are starting and have a little bit knowledge can understand these use cases, right? Exactly. Yeah? yeah. Okay. And then talks about some trends that we all see today and some upcoming stuff. And lastly, here you have how you can design a proper RPA solution for document processing. All the best practices starting from the requirement gathering until you deploy it. It also has a bunch of checklists hmm. that can help guide you during your process. Understood. So this is how it looks like. So now I have one next question, right? Where can I buy it? Okay, so it just got released like few days back. So as yes. of now, it's available for India through the Notion Press. Yeah, this so Notion public. Press should be applicable only to the person who are available in India, right? So if I'm in India, okay. I can get it from Notion Press, right? Okay, yes. great. And if you're from Asia, you can use Amazon.in. You have the. Uh, but uh, just a clarification, Lairu, for India people, I can buy it from Notion as well as Amazon, right? It's not yes. like that yes. I have to only go from Notion, right? So I'm in India. So that means for me, I can get it from Notion as well as from Amazon, right? Yes. Okay, great. Yes, it's on Amazon so listed. Asia. Yeah, uh, okay. Yes. If you're from India, you can use both. Yeah. And you also have Flipkart. Awesome. What yeah. we have as of now, but mm. in the next one or two days, this will be available for worldwide uh, community. So okay. anybody can get it from Amazon.com. Mm. I will keep you guys posted on. Awesome. Awesome. And uh, Lahiru, I am reading books, but I am more into the Kindle, right? So do you have the Kindle version or it's when it's available, right? Are you planning for the Kindle version also? Yeah, it is in progress, so it's okay. already being uh, uh, mm. pushed from the publisher, so it will okay. be available in a couple of days. Yeah, yeah, so maybe we can just take buffer as one week, and I think after one week from the date of recording, we should have the Kindle version in the Amazon. Yeah. That's a yeah. great news. Thank you for sharing this, Lahiru, and uh, congratulations on the launch of your second book. Uh, so guys who don't know, Lahiru already has one book on the associate certification, so people who want to do and practice for associate certification, I'll post that link also in the description so you can refer that as well. Okay, so thank you Lahiru for joining this uh, quick chat. Any last words from you? Well, um, yes, thank you so much for inviting me for this and I hope you will like the book. So please don't forget to share the feedback so we can improve. Yes, absolutely. Thank you Lahiru for joining in. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.